Alrighty, so a couple days ago, I went and bought some new sketchbooks. And so as such, today, I'm going to be drawing in the first of my brand new sketchbooks. Today, I'm going to be drawing in my brand new sketchbook for the first time, which I will admit I am very excited to do. But what is this sketchbook? Well, it is a Soho Urban Artist sketchbook that is 5.5 by 8.5 inches, has 100 sheets, and has 75 pound paper. This is a sketchbook that I have purchased previously, and it's a sketchbook that I like quite a bit. I own currently, I want to say I bought the last time I was at the art store, I bought five of these. So I've got currently five unused ones and I've probably got six or seven full ones. I really like this sketchbook uh, just because honestly, it's really cheap. This sketchbook at my local art store is like $3.80 or something like that. For the amount of pages I get in this sketchbook, this is by far the cheapest sketchbook at the art store I go to. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And I certainly am looking forward to using this one for the first time in today's video. And, uh, yeah, well, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Not really much else to say in all honesty. I do suppose without further ado, first off, the first thing I should probably do is uh, actually get this sketchbook out of the plastic wrap it's in. So let's go ahead and get this plastic wrap all off and everything like that. And then after I get this book all out, I think I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to all of the drawing materials I'm going to be using to draw with in today's video besides the sketchbook itself. Let's go get this all out though, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this away after the video. And now let's go ahead and talk about what drawing materials I'm going to be using for the drawing today. And I'm also going to talk about what drawing I'm actually going to draw today. I do suppose I should probably cover that too now, shouldn't I? But I'm going to cover the materials first. Today, I'm going to be drawing with, first off, my Pilot Spotlighter Highlighter from Japan. And I'm also going to be drawing with my Pilot G2 0.38 millimeter sized pen. And today, I'm thinking I'm going to draw a Legman style character. By that, I mean a character with a head and like really long legs and arms. I'm going to be drawing one of those styles of characters with both of these materials right here. I don't generally use a highlighter for this style of drawing, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out in today's video, that is for sure. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this sketchbook right here all opened up to the nearest open page, which of course is the first page. And now that I'm on the first page of this sketchbook, let's go ahead and... Just flip it over, get it all set, centered in the screen and everything like that kind of thing. And now, I think the first thing I'm going to do is use my highlighter. And what I'm going to do with my highlighter is I'm going to do a bunch of straight lines just across the paper, just like that, in the shape of a circle. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just do a little bit of a line right there, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And I'm not trying to be exact or precise or anything like that kind of thing. I think I'm just going to do one or two more bigger lines. And now I'm going to start making it smaller again. I'm not trying to be exact or precise or anything like that kind of thing. The main reason I'm using the highlighter today is to try to give it a more interesting look than not. It doesn't need to be perfectly round because I don't mind the pen uh, not working with it perfectly or not uh, hitting the edges of the highlighter perfectly. I do suppose the right way of putting it but I am messing this up a little bit more than I actually wanted to. Uh, I'm trying to get this to... Mess this up a little bit more than I wanted to, but I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to mess with it any more than I already have, in all honesty. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and just try to get it to dry off just a little bit. Hopefully it is a little bit more dry than not. It has been a couple since, seconds since I drew the vast majority of it after all. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just do a circle right here now. So I'm just going to do a circle all the way around there kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure that's all good. I wasn't really trying to be super precise or anything like that kind of thing. I'm thinking this should work for what I want. Let's go ahead and do a nose in the center now. And let's go ahead and do two eyes on either side. The eye was a little bit wobbly. It's okay, though. It ain't no biggie. Just give some personality to the drawing. 
little bit of a chin, a little bit of a forehead line, maybe two, some little eye lines and whatnot kind of thing. Just like that. And now let's go ahead and give this guy some arms and legs. Starting off with the legs. Just like that. And while the drawing might look... <laughs> I need a sip of water. I'm getting my words all jumbled up. I ate some food right before this, and um, there's still some in my mouth or something, and it's still like, it's it's making my mouth, it's making my throat like dry or something. <clears throat> Dang. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. It's not the cigarettes, it's the food, I swear. But... This drawing might look more done than not, but I'm not sure if it's quite done yet. I'm trying to figure out if I want to try to do another line on everything, uh, like another, if I want to go over all the lines again. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that, and I'm kind of thinking I do. I went over this one just a little bit, and I like how it looks a little bit more distinct. I'm not going to do a sort of like sketchy style with this drawing, I think. I think it'll look better if I just do another line, but no sketching or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to do another line going all the way around just to make this drawing just look a little bit more distinct than not and what not. So I'm just going to go around just like that. Just make sure I can actually see the line that I'm trying to draw while I'm doing it. Just like that. Whoopsies, messed that up a little bit, but it ain't no biggie. And there we go, so there's the second layer done for the entirety of the head. And now, let's go ahead and just do the arms and legs. And there we go. I'm thinking that is the drawing all done. As a whole, I am a much bigger fan of this drawing than not. I do think it has some personality, but there are some things that I don't like about this drawing. The main thing that I'm just now noticing that I somehow missed up until this point and that is that this eye is significantly thinner than this eye, but I kind of feel like it just gives the drawing personality, so I don't really mind it one bit. I really like the concept of having the sort of yellow background under the character, but the yellow background doesn't quite line up properly with the actual circle and everything like that. I really like that concept. I'm really glad I gave that a go in today's video. I think that's definitely something I'm going to have to be trying more in the future. That is for sure. Just kind of having like solid color backgrounds on characters and it doesn't really quite line up perfectly. I really like that idea and that's definitely, well, something I want to do more in the future. As a whole, I'm definitely more happy than not with this drawing and I like some of the stuff I've done with it. I really like how um, the yellow look uh, looks. I, I like how the second layer of the drawing I did looks as well. It doesn't look particularly sketchy, but it's definitely darker and more distinct. I am more of a fan of this drawing than not, but there definitely are some areas for improvement that I do think I could, I, I could improve on if I wanted to give this a second shot. But I'm not terribly worried about it for the moment, and I think I'll leave that for a future time when I actually want to give this concept a second shot. As a whole, more so than not, this concept, this idea, has been more successful than not, and I am satisfied with this drawing. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my... Uh, I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?